Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're gonna be organizing my makeup vanity and I'll be going through all of my daily makeup products, my everyday makeup I've been wearing all summer. And I'm finally organizing my makeup desk that I sit in front of for my videos. I have been living out of this little bag that is very dirty of makeup that I packed with me to move um, about three months ago. And this is where my everyday makeup has been for three months and I finally need to unpack it and organize my vanity. I will do my makeup in the bathroom most days and then I'll sit and do my makeup on my vanity when I'm filming and I just want to finally have a setup where I can sit here every day and do my makeup. The reason it's taken so long is because since we moved, we are doing some renovations in our home. So we have like contractors coming in a couple days a week. So I kind of hide away in the bathroom. Sometimes I'll need to install things like around where my room is. So I just keep my makeup in a different space. Um, for that reason, I'm also really not great with starting new habits and changing and getting into like a really solid routine. I've been like very chaotic um, with my routine since I moved. One, because we do have people coming um, at least one day a week but also because of my allergy issues that I've been mentioning, I've been having allergic reactions. So a lot of times I have to take a break from wearing makeup for like a week at a time. Um, I'm getting that all figured out. Honestly, this week I'm going to an allergist and doing a whole bunch of tests, but because I'm trying to move past that hopefully and get some answers, I want to finally have my makeup space set up so I can just sit down and film and not have to move things back and forth and just have one spot in my house where I do my makeup and Honestly, I am glad I actually didn't take a picture of what my bathroom was looking like because it's like my side of the bathroom that has complete mess. Basically everything that was in this case was just all over my sink. It just kind of like took over my sink. And then my husband's side of his sink is completely bare. There's nothing there but like some toothpaste. And then there was just all my crap. So. I wanted to clean up our bathroom so it looked really nice and can be a separate space and then I can have my own space of my makeup and I'm finally getting organized so I wanted to document it so I actually follow through and do it and I can show you guys what's in my everyday makeup routine and how I'm going to organize it from now on. So I'm going to flip you guys around so you can see my desk, my everyday makeup, the mess that is my desk right now, and we'll clean it up and make it look all pretty. All right, so here is a look at my current vanity situation. I just did my makeup a minute ago, so obviously it's gonna be a bit of a mess, and I just wanted to keep it so you guys can see me organize it throughout this video. Everything that's in my little makeup bag, I can link that below. I got it a long time ago, and it's lasted me a couple years and then in my makeup drawers i have some newer pr products some products that i've been testing throughout the summer some products that i've been using for videos i have some new charlotte tilbury products that i got recently and just a bunch of palettes that i've been using throughout the summer as well it's all just kind of a chaotic mess i definitely want to get things organized so I could see all the products. But first I do wanna talk about some of the products that I have in my makeup case that I've been wearing on a daily basis, loving throughout the summer. I talked about this Good Molecules Primer in my recent favorites video. This is a silicone-free priming moisturizer. Great if you have dehydrated or dry skin, so good. Just a really simple primer. Then we have the Makeup by Mario bronzer stick. I've been wearing this every day for the last month. This is one of my favorite products at the moment. I definitely need to wash this side because I haven't yet. But I will do that this week, I promise, because I know I need to clean some of my brushes. Like my brushes are definitely dirty. They're gonna get washed next. That's gonna be a separate thing. Just know I'm gonna do that soon. These Makeup by Mario highlighters are the only highlighters I've been wearing this summer. I have them in Golden and Honey. I did a whole review on this collection. I wear both of them interchangeably. I honestly can't tell the difference um, too much when I put them on. I just grab whatever is in front of me. Like they look identical. So I just grab what's ever in front of me and I honestly don't know which one I wear most. And then, oh, I love the Anastasia brow gel. I just got a restock on this, or the brow freeze, excuse me. This is the best brow product. I just shared in a YouTube short, this blonder from Bare Minerals is so good. I have the shade Kiss of Copper. This is a shimmery kind of blush bronzer highlighter hybrid. 
I've been wearing this for the past week. I really haven't been liking powder blushes lately, but this made me like them all over again because I avoided powder blushes um, basically since the springtime, but this is something I've been reaching for daily. It's so good. And honestly, I don't know if it's available at Sephora anymore. I bought it at Sephora about 10 days ago, and now I cannot find it online at Sephora, but this is Kids of Copper by Bare Minerals. Um, it's available at a couple other retailers, so I will link them below. Love these liquid highlighters as well. Ilia and Grande Cosmetics. I rotate between both of these whenever I'm not wearing the Makeup by Mario highlighters, or I will put these on before the Makeup by Mario highlighters, like underneath as a base. These foundations I honestly just have in here. I'm not really wearing them. The ones that I'm wearing is basically just the one from this is my new one i have a backup in my bathroom of my old one but this is my brand new one um the hydromaniac by urban decay this is definitely my holy grail foundation at the moment it is so good i have been loving it all year long oh and then the other foundation that i just got recently hydroflex by tarte cosmetics this is such a good five minute makeup product i actually sometimes okay the fenty skin tint it's basically a really light coverage foundation. It doesn't give me a skin tint vibe. And this is actually called a skin tint. This one by Tarte is called a serum foundation, but it's basically a skin tint, something that's a very minimal wash of color, kind of like the one from Ilia. So if you want like a true skin tint, go for this. But if you want like a really light coverage foundation, go for this. And then I think that's kind of like the majority of my go-to products. I just have some things in here that I've been wearing um just to wear them or to finish them up my puppy is walking in here <laughs> um the bite beauty blushes these are so good these are the only blushes i was wearing until i got the new one from bare minerals rare beauty the eyeshadow palette i like this a lot as well i do very minimal eyeshadow just because i was having some skin issues on my eyes recently for no reason well I'm sure there's a reason, but it doesn't matter what products I use, what I eat, what I'm exposed to. So I'm figuring that out very soon. Um, so I've been keeping my eyeshadow very minimal. Usually, honestly, I do Hoola Glow as eyeshadow and some mascara. That's it. I have all these shades from Bite Beauty. Coconut Rum is my favorite. It's kind of like that nude blush. And then Melon Mojito is my second favorite. It's Coral. And then Watermelon Marg is my third. But honestly, I love them all. Like, I'm happy wearing this one every single day, even though it's my third favorite. It just shows you how much I love these products. And then I've been wearing the Rare Beauty Concealer every day for several months. Honestly, just because I want to use it up. It's an okay concealer. Um, it's fine, honestly. It's, it's good enough for me to use for several months. And I actually do have other concealers, like backup concealers. But I just try to use up what I have before opening them up. So it's fine. I'm not going to repurchase it. But I like it enough to use the whole thing up. Then I have some of my go-to face powders. Laura Mercier Translucent Glow. Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Finish. And the Estee Lauder <laughs> Double Wear Stay in Place Matte Foundation Powder. These are like my touch-up powders. This is my setting powder. I also love the one from Too Faced. I actually need a restock of that. Then the other eyeshadow product I've mentioned recently is this Dazzle Stick by KVD Beauty. This is a gorgeous like one and done eyeshadow. They have several shades. It's so good. It dries like powder and it makes my eye look super, super easy. So I'll use this on my lid and then just use this as a transition shade. And I honestly don't do anything more than that on most days and I feel like it's good enough for me. The only other eyeshadow I've really been using is this one from Il Maquillage. I just got this like in an Ipsy or something. Like it's not something I would go out of my way to buy, but sometimes I'll just use this combination. So I don't know if I'm technically recommending it, but it, it's good enough that I've been using it daily. I also have some other single shadows I could use like this one from Lawless, but this is more so a glitter eyeshadow. And sometimes I just want like a really soft coppery eyeshadow and i don't want to commit to like a glitter eyeshadow look but that's basically everything i have some random eyeliners some random brushes that i definitely need to clean i need to wash my beauty blenders i've been um washing my beauty blenders with dawn dish soap it's so easy so quick and i should have done that before filming this so you guys don't think i have dirty <laughs> um sponges constantly but they get dirty so quickly and i definitely need to wash them like after filming this but this is one of the um sponges from juno sponge or juno beauty those are my favorite beauty blenders so 
that is kind of an overall what's in my everyday makeup drawer the other thing that i've been trying out lately like i have this new buxom eyeshadow palette i did film my eyeshadow look today using this palette buxom like this was actually the first eyeshadow palette that i was really interested in from them i love the color combinations but as you can see just using this one shade like you really need to pick up a lot of product there Shimmer shades are not super creamy. So I definitely love the shades in this palette. The mattes are really easy to blend and I definitely want to play with some more shimmers because I want to see if these other shimmers work a little bit better compared to this neutral one. All right, so let's go ahead and move into what's actually in my makeup drawers. Basically what was in the bag I use on a daily basis and then everything else in here I use for filming and more on like the weekends when I do a little bit more makeup than just my everyday. So I have some products that I need to try out from Charlotte Tilbury. They sent me this collection i actually filmed a video with it that i need to edit and put up this week these are some of their new matte lip colors and these um blush sticks that are kind of like a blush and lipstick hybrid i also have this new face palette from them it's called the instant look of love palette this is a cute palette from charlotte tilbury i like the face products a lot better than the eyeshadows that's typically the case with their makeup and that's kind of the majority of what I've been trying out in here. But basically, those are the only new products that are in this drawer. Just the Charlotte Tilbury one. And then moving over to my eyeshadows. Also, I'll mention, I will link my last um, makeup organization and everyday makeup drawer if you guys want to know a little bit more about some of the other products I have in here. So in here, I have some eyeshadow palettes, eyeliners, and then just some random stuff like I have a skincare product in here. Basically, I was trying to finish out this Dominique Cosmetics Latte Palette. Like I said, I am doing pretty minimal eyeshadow lately since I have had some skin issues. But when I do wear eyeshadow, I'm trying to test out new products and I don't really wear eyeshadow on a daily basis lately. So I'm not gonna add a lot of eyeshadow in here. I'm just gonna stick to the newer releases that I wanna use a little bit more. I have this one from Laura Lee, the Candy Skies. This is a really gorgeous colorful eyeshadow palette and it actually smells like cotton candy which is awesome such a cute palette i have natasha denona gold i would have worn this a ton this summer if i wasn't trying to just keep my makeup minimal also ColourPop pop your golden was an awesome eyeshadow palette release from this summer and i did do a review of this palette too and then this is probably my favorite eyeshadow palette release of the last couple months this is the patrick ta eyeshadow palette stunning i have a review video i have several tutorials on my instagram as well all right so those are basically all of the products that i've been focusing on lately i have a bunch of other things in here that have just kind of been sitting here for months like some of the eyeshadow palettes that i have way back in my drawer some blushes and everything that i've been trying to declutter but i'm gonna put those away for now i don't want to add anything to this drawer i just kind of want to focus on using those everyday products and some of my newer eyeshadow palettes so i'm gonna clear everything out Put away some of those older products and then we'll get to organizing this drawer. So what I'm doing is my everyday makeup, the makeup that I shared that was in that 
um, makeup case that I travel with. I put it all in here, and this is going to be basically my everyday makeup drawer. It's super organized. I'm really happy with it. I have my Makeup by Mario section. It kind of looks like a little store right here with my Bite Beauty, my Persona Cosmetics. I have the little eye brightener from Fenty. All the products I shared earlier, I have my brow freeze and the backup brow freeze right there. And I'm basically just going to be using the Patrick Ta eyeshadow palette when I'm not using this along with the Hula bronzer. Then I just have like my lash tools and my setting spray back there. So that's basically everything in my everyday, like realistic, day-to-day, -day, quick 10-minute makeup. And then over here, I have more of the makeup that I use when I'm doing like a full face or filming or doing um, more eyeshadow looks and stuff. And I have more foundations that I have been wearing regularly. I basically just wear the Urban Decay one or a skin tint on a daily basis, but I also really like these. I have the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. My Too Faced Matte Foundation, Marc Jacobs. I'm so confused about what's going on with that brand, but we'll see what ends up happening. I think they're leaving Sephora. Some products I'm trying from Charlotte Tilbury right here. I have the ColourPop Your Golden Palette, the Rare Beauty Palette that I have been wearing a lot, but I don't wear it like on a daily basis, so I kept it here. The Charlotte Tilbury Face Palette. Some other cream contour products over here and some other products that um, aren't new at all, like my um, Juve highlighter, my Benefit highlighter, but they're products that I wear pretty frequently and I'm trying to use up. Then I have the newer eyeshadow palettes right here, kind of like stuff like this so you can see which each of them are, but that's everything that I have in my drawers. Alright, so that's going to be everything for today's video. I hope you enjoyed organizing my everyday makeup with me, seeing what products I've been wearing. Throughout the summer, what products I want to reincorporate into my routine and what new products I'm testing out. I'll have all my organization linked down below. It's all pretty affordable from Amazon. And if you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you guys soon in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.